Airport security has been incredibly strict since 2001, for obvious reasons. And over the last 20 years, TSA regulations and restrictions have only become more strict. But where there are strict rules, there will always be people trying to creatively break them. Today, we're taking a look at five strange things that people actually tried to take on a plane. So for all this and more, stay tuned right here at Wonderlane. Let's start with a man who wanted to fly from Hong Kong to China. Security at the airport in Hong Kong noticed the man early on because of his strange, crooked posture. When he turned towards the metal detector in a strange way and it started beeping loudly, the customs officer pulled him aside. The man had 94 iPhones strapped to his body. The models were all still new and unused. His plan was to resell the phones, which had been bought for very cheap in Hong Kong. But this plan was poorly thought out and it backfired badly. All the phones were confiscated and the man was charged with illegal import attempts and ended up with nothing. Even crazier was the plan hatched by these Somali farmers. They flew from their home country to Cairo, Egypt with a strategy similar to that of the man from Hong Kong. They wanted to earn a little extra money. As they left the plane with their suitcases, a horrible stench suddenly settled in the control area of the airport. Officials quickly realized that the suitcase was the cause of the foul smell. But what was inside? The luggage was filled from top to bottom with cattle brains. In some parts of the country, it's actually considered a delicacy and is also used as bread slices. Egyptians sometimes pay six times what it would be worth in Somalia. Let's continue with this Thai woman who tried to smuggle a live tiger onto a plane. She was going through customs in the Bangkok airport, headed to Iran, and was intercepted by security because her suitcase was clearly out of proportion. When the suitcase was x-rayed, they noticed that the woman was clearly carrying a living creature in her bag. When the customs officers opened the suitcase, they could not believe their eyes. Hidden under a layer of stuffed tigers was a real living tiger cub. The woman had anesthetized it before the flight and probably thought that it would not be noticed among the stuffed tigers. This next traveler had a similar plan. He wanted to transport live animals from Dubai to Australia, namely carrier pigeons. He had some in his suitcase and two in his pants. In the security check at the Melbourne airport, however, his plan was foiled. When instead of just having the animals taken away and simply being able to leave, he had to be put under quarantine. For other countries, non-native animals are a major threat to the ecosystem as they can transmit dangerous diseases. The man had the pigeons on his leg and was therefore not allowed to enter the country. He had to return to Dubai and the 18 hours of flying were all for nothing. Next action is so crazy, it's really hard to believe, but it's absolutely true. Two women wanted to travel from Liverpool to Berlin, accompanied by a 91-year-old man in a wheelchair. When they arrived at the airport, no one noticed anything strange, but at the passport check, the old man did not respond to the control officer, and so the women simply handed over his passport for him. The man was only asleep, they thought, but a little later, the man toppled out of his wheelchair, and then it dawned on everyone, he was dead, and probably had been dead for a while. The women were arrested immediately and they testified in court that they thought the man was alive and only sleeping. We don't quite believe that, as it's more likely that they wanted to avoid the expensive transport costs for a deceased person and simply pass him off as a living passenger. And that's going to do it for this video on 5 crazy airplane smuggling attempts. Which one of these did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this, just about every day.